Hey, this is Eric with programwitheric.com, and today we're going to look at some JavaScript 101. We're going to look at some real basic JavaScript concepts, and today we're going to look at scope and variables, global scope, when is a variable global, when is it not global, when is it scoped to a function, and so forth. So if we take a look here, I created a, a basic uh, JS fiddle. So we're going to go over a few of these samples. This tripped me up. Someone asked me a few questions about this recently. But for the simplest way is if we have a, a variable here. Let's create it named glob. And we have it named, uh, we assign a value to it, 5. And then we print it out. You can see in our console we have 5. So obviously very simple. And what, what happens here since we're using the var keyword in glob, this is actually creating a global variable, so it's available throughout the application and all the scripts. Uh, however, let's say we wanted to, um, an, an alternative way to doing that is if we actually didn't even include the bar in front, we can do the same thing. So if we run it, we still get 5. And this is still acts like a global variable. It's usually recommended to use the var. To declare it but you don't necessarily need that and we can see here if we do function my func and we do console log and we'll just call it glob global and we run it I'm just gonna clear this out you can still see uh, let's actually run it. My phone. Instantiate it. Okay, so we see here that we we get our five and we can still access it with inside the function. So we know that it's global and it's accessible inside our functions, at least that much. So one thing you could do is let's say you were in here and let's say you put z equals 255 here. Well, if we do that, we actually create a global variable because z equals 255. It's not doesn't have the var keyword in front. Um, it essentially is a global variable, so we can actually at this point console log z, and we'll have access to it. So we run that. So we see our five from this console log, and then we run the function, and then we log. We log z since we didn't declare with the var. Now we have 255 here, which makes sense. Now, however, if we if we declare it with var here and we run this example again, now we get an uncaught reference because now z is locally scoped to this function. It's no longer available outside the function because we used var here or var. So that's that makes sense. Uh, now, what we another thing to keep in mind is let's say we have a for loop, and we wanted to look out how the scope works with. So we want to take a look how the scope works for the block itself. So if let's say we create inside this for loop here. We create a variable called x, and x equals i plus 1. And just for the heck of it, we'll console log x out. Now, if we run this, we'll see our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 as we expect. But one thing you'll notice, though, is if we console log x outside of this, We'll see we get another 10 at the bottom. So it took the last value and displayed it. And essentially the x is a, is a global variable. It's it, There's no block scoping with ES5. In, in other words, x is, is not scoped to this block at all. And one way that has been fixed, or one way you can do it instead of using the var, you can use something called let. And then let will 
will basically scope it just for this block. And so now if we run it, we get uncaught, uh, uncaught reference error because now X is no longer scoped uh, globally, it's only scoped for this block itself. And then one final thing to think about is we have const. So if we, let's say we have a const variable, and let's see if we just, if we have a simple number, um, num equal 5, and we console log num, we can see we have 5 as we expect. But let's say we wanted to change that. Now if we just do num equals 10 here and try to run it, we're getting an error because it is a constant. But it's not the constant the way you think about it. It's actually a cons it it's a constant to the reference to the number. So in other words, if we're using a number, that's one thing, but if we're using like an array or an object, we'll make this an array. And we run it again. We see our 5 here, but we can actually do something like this. We can actually change the value to whatever we want it to be. So let's change it to 10. And then we'll log it again. So now you can see it actually changed from 5 to 10, even though it's a const. So it's not a const in the way you think you may think in other languages where it's immutable and can't be changed. It actually can change because it's only uh, you can't change the reference to where it's pointing to essentially so that's just some real quick basic stuff on scoping it can get a little bit more difficult if you have any questions leave a comment below and also if you like uh, double check I have a link to my mailing list you can sign up there and I also give you a lot of other JavaScript questions and answers thanks